Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Another Star Wars Unlimited Sparker Rebellion booster box we're going to break into. Uh, by the time you see this, it should be after release day. So hopefully you've gotten your hands on some of the cards and gotten to play. And hopefully you enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments if you got to play, if you enjoyed it, how much fun it was. If you're getting into the game, if you're going to take a pass on it, let me know. Let me know. I think the game's awesome. I can't imagine anybody passing on it, but there's so many games out there. Obviously, not everybody's going to like all the same games, so I don't blame you if you pass on it. Especially if you're already a Magic player, because that probably takes up all of your extra finances on its own. So, I would not blame you, but I think anybody that gives this game a fair shake is probably going to love it, because... I love it, and I haven't picked up a new game in 20 years because I tried a billion games back in the day, and they all failed. And the only ones that, you know, did stick around were the ones I wasn't interested in at all, which was Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Director Krennic for our first leader. Kestro City for the first base. And looks like we got a hyperspace coming in the back here. Wilderness Fighter. That's cool. Looks nice. And our Uncommons, and our first rare, Spark of Rebellion, Irony. And an Uncommon Mon Motha for Mothma, for our, uh, <laughs> our foil there in the back. All right. Uh, Lay Organa, and Administrator's Tower. If nothing else, Magic can learn just from looking at these booster packs. These are much better designed packs, too. Uh, Blizzard Assault 8. Ad -at. I love the ad -ats. ad ads are awesome. Is that a rare and uncommon? I can't even tell. I think it's uncommon. Hyperspace. There we go. Lando Calrissian for our rare. And a common super or snow trooper like that. Yeah. These packs make a lot more sense. The tokens are on the back of the bases. By the way, there's only two tokens you need in the game so far. And they're both on the back of the bases. So you never need tokens in a separate slot. Uh, Grand Moff Turgon, Command Center uh, uh, with the uh, hyperspace variant. And see, even the token has the hyperspace variant, which is kind of cool. So I think even the common bases and stuff are probably going to be at least worth a little bit because the tokens, especially if they're hyperspace. Crafty Smuggler hyperspace. And what do we got? The Chimera, uh, Darth Vader's Star Destroyer, for those that don't know, if you're not a big Star Wars geek like I am. And the Braggart Foil. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah, they could definitely learn something from the pack design. Han Solo for a rare leader. And Chopper Base with a token on the back. Yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, and, the, you know, the best part, no stupid art cards. There's art on every card. Why do you need an art card? It's so dumb. Anyway, uh, General Krell. And then our first hyperspace uh, foil, the Krillian Freighter. There you go. And here we go. No advertising cards, because you already bought the product. Why do they need to advertise to you? IG-88, take about a swamp. And I think I see some hyperspace cards in here. Yep, hyperspace gorilla attack pod. And a hyperspace chopper. Oh, that's a rare. That means we got a double rare. Only two uncommons. So hyperspace chopper rare, and then a rare Gideon Hask. And a full uncommon Admiral Ozzel. The Rebel Spy. <laughs> All right. And Boba Fett. Catacombs of Kadera. And here we go. This game has the potential to be one of the top dogs. Uh, it's not going to dethrone magic. I don't think that's possible. For a cause I believe in. Is our next rare. And a wilderness fighter. Although I don't know. The way Hasbro's running things. <laughs> They're not giving people reasons to really want to stay in the game, that's for sure. Uh, Palpatine, Echo Base. I have a feeling Fantasy Flight would never send armed thugs to my house to steal stuff that I legally purchased. Call me crazy, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Redemption and a Colin Fall. Uh oh, knocking packs over. So, I mean... There's that. Sabine Wren, one of the best aggro leaders you can get. Uh, I can't wait to build a deck around her. I love aggro. And here we go. Emperor's Royal Guard for the next rare. Don't see too many of those. And a big Fortuna foil. Maybe it might be the first Emperor's Royal Guard I've pulled. 
Uh, oh, we got a hyperspace Han. That's cool. Uh, for a rare leader in the hyperspace variant. Capital City. This guy. This common right here. If that common is ever worth less than a dollar, I'll be shocked. Because <laughs> he's so usable. He's a ramp. Uh, all right. Uh, volunteer Soldier Hyperspace variant. And Heroic Sacrifice for a rare. And a Rebel Pathfinder foil. Alright, where's the legendaries and where's the hyperspace foils? We're almost halfway through the box and we got one hyperspace foil. There's a hyperspace Kestro City with the shield token on the back. And what do we got? Legendary, there we go. Luke Skywalker. Oh, 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 and now it's how you played. Alright, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, nice first legendary there, and then we got a, oh, a rare foil right behind it, the regional governor. That's a pretty strong card, I think. Uh, I think everyone's going to see a lot of play, and I need a blue deck. The aspect, uh, I forget which one that is. Cunning? No. Oh, intelligence? I don't remember. I don't have the names memorized yet. Director Krennic and Administrator's Tower. Um, yeah. Let's see here. What do we got? Saw Guerrera. He's fun. And Common Vanquish. Whoa. And Chewbacca. Echo Base. It is such a fun product. Season Shore Trooper with the hyperspace. And here we go. Bodhi Rook with the rare. And a Carabast. Oh, Carabast. <laughs> it actually... Uh, the card fits the the theme of Carabas being Zebrilios's kind of. Oh damn it! <laughs> it kind of fits because you can only cast it with a you know that's taking damage. Chewbacca chopper base hyperspace. Uh, it's just it's kind of totally on theme. It's hilarious. And Jet City, they're one of the rare. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. The bases. Uh, no tokens on the back of the rares though. Uh, Stone Fleet Destroyer for the, uh, which is actually a really good playable card for the foil. Even though it's just a common, still a playable common. All right, Director Krennic, Echo Base. Yeah, what are we finding in here? Uh, sneak Attack and Rugged Survivors. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I had a sneeze. I've been trying to hold it back for like four packs, but just can't do it anymore. I apologize if that was really loud. Sabine Wren, Hyperspace. Love it, aggro. And Kistro City. I see something maybe in the back, or is it just the foil popping out there? Uh, search your feelings for the rare. It was just a foil. Uncommon foil. Fighters for Freedom. Which is a pretty good aggro card, I must admit. And Lay Organa. Capital City. What else we got in here? Anything? Anything? Jedi Lightsaber for the rare. And a common soul block guard. Okay. We're getting a little slow here. We need to pick it up. We need some good legendaries or some hyperspace ball or something. Cassian or good rare leader there. Administrator's Tower. Oh, 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 did I call it? I think I called it. Hyperspace Siege Tank and our uncommons. And a legendary and a hyperspace legendary. Oh, look at that. Now that's a good pack. So we got a legendary black one. And we got a legendary hyperspace full cannon Duris. That is legendary, isn't it? Or is it uncommon? Is that an uncommon? I can't even tell. Okay, it's an uncommon. False alarm, I think. Yeah, I think that's an uncommon. Okay, false alarm. Still good card, though. And we got a legendary. All right. <laughs> It looked like it was blue because of the foiling. I'm still not certain. I think it's uncommon, though. <laughs> I can't see. My eyes don't work these days. Don't get old, kids. All right. Grab off target. Take up a swamp with the hyperspace. And took it on the back. Oh, oh, throwing stuff. All right. And looks like we got an uncommon hyperspace. Edra Bruiser. Edra. Ezra Bridger. I don't know why I was getting that mixed up. K2SO. He's got a lot of. A lot of potential there. Powerful card. And a rare foil, the Fallen Lightsaber. Nice. 
And it seems like every box I've opened, I've gotten some kind of fancy either foil or hyperspace of the following lightsaber. Sabine Wren, our little aggro girl again. Echo Base. And what else? What else are you going to throw at us? Oh, double rare pack. Don't get cocky with the hyperspace. And Chopper for the second rare and a common foil. So there we go. Hyperspace rare and a real rare. Pretty cool. Jin Erso and the Catacombs of Kadera again. Get that one a lot. And here we go. Han Solo for the rare. And Rogue Squadron Skirmisher for the young Common Paul. Alright. What do we got? Getting down there. Four packs left. So definitely let me know in the comments. IG88, Dig a Swamp. What do you think of the game so far? If you've got a chance to play it, if you're going to get into it, maximum firepower. Uh, I know this is predominantly a magic channel. Uh, Energy Conversion Lab. And another hyperspace wall, the uh, outer rim head on her. Unfortunately, just a common, but still. Yeah. Love to hear from you guys in the comments. Grand Moff Turkin, Chopper Base. And. Yep, Kane Jarrus is an uncommon. Okay. All right. Uh, you're my only hope. Oh, hyperspace uh, Jedi Lightsaber Rare. There we go. At least we got a hyperspace rare uh, foil. That's good. All right, two more packs. We need a legendary in both packs. So we only got two legendaries. This will be the lowest legendary pack or box ever. Chirrut Imwi with the rare uh, hero. Command center. Definitely need some legendaries. Come on. Give us a double tap like I thought I had last time. U wing reinforcement and a common. Uh oh. This is going to be the lowest legendary box so far. Not fun. Boba Fett, Capital City. And gonna run out of steam right here at the end. Oh, legendary Boba Fett. One of the more popular legendaries. Common foil. So there we go. We did end up with three legendaries Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, and Black One. Uh, but we only got four. We got four hyperspace walls. Only one of them was rare. Not a legendary this box, but still not bad. I think this is probably a pretty average box. We'll have to see how the card values kind of turn out but pretty average box i think this is probably the weakest one we've opened so far but i don't know it's got luke skywalker boba fett either one of those has the potential to be a big chase card so let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget to click that descri description and click some of those links they help you out help me out it's win for everybody thank you guys so much for your time we'll see you the next one